Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been having a number of people coming in with issues uh, regarding their hamstring. And in particular, uh, let's face it, we sit down a lot. We sit down way too much. And what's happening with these folks, they're seated at their desk or uh, computer or whatever it may be, and they're, they're sitting down like this, and their hamstring is in this kind of flexed, position all day long. And again, the function of the hamstring, there's a couple of functions, obviously. It's to flex the leg uh, at the knee, and it also, uh, has a, uh, also has a function of extending, extending the uh, hip here as well. So it flexes the leg at the knee and also can extend the thigh at the hip right there so what's happening with these folks they're they're complaining of a lot of issues such as uh, cramping you know they'll uh, uh, you know they'll wake up in the middle of the night to turn over or something like that and you know and then they'll cramp up uh, with in their hamstring and they'll have to you know straighten out their thigh you know just you know oh, my hamstrings hurting or whatever um, so a lot of problems going on with that um, in sports uh, what, what we're also seeing too is, you know, when people are running, you know, you get, you know, this tightness or uh, discomfort here and through the hamstring. And again, what we like, we sit way too much. So what's happening when you sit like this a lot, um, the hamstring, the muscle and the fascia, the gliding surfaces between the muscle and the fascia no longer glide very well and they're getting tacked up in there. So then when the hamstring goes to contract, it's fighting against that fascia. It doesn't slide anymore in there. Same thing with even the skin. If the skin on top of the fascia, so you got the hamstring muscle, you got the fascia, and then you have the skin on top of that. And if the skin is not gliding well over the fascia, you're gonna get tightness in through there. You can even get trigger points in there. If you just go around there, you can kind of feel in your hamstring. And if you feel any tight knots or anything like that or sensitivity in through there, you have problems. So this is one easy way to increase the gliding surfaces between the skin, the fascia, and the muscle so that way, when, you're, when you go to do your activities, whether it's as simple as rolling over in bed and not getting those cramps and that tightness in there, or you go do your sports, like uh, let's say you want to go squat, or you're running the first base, you see it all the time, people running the first base, they're running the first base, and then their hamstring cramps up or it gets pulled. You know, hamstring pulls are a very common uh, uh, problem. Why? Because we're like this all the time in this semi-contracted hamstring position and not only that we're sitting on our hamstrings so it gets further tacked down in there and then those gliding surfaces don't work very well so what do you do you take our good old handy dandy cross ball I usually recommend folks to start toward the knee and then work your way up toward your butt so start right here kind of where your knee is and then you hunt around, search around, find a tender spot in that area, like right there for me, and then just work in there. Slowly, you can kind of see my leg kicking up here. See my, see my leg. Back and forth on that spot. And as that spot starts to, the pain starts to diminish, the discomfort starts to diminish, move it up a little bit. And you can find like right there, as I'm moving up that particular uh, hamstring muscle, you can feel it get more and more tender as you move up. So you do this, do this, you know, three to five minutes, work in each side. So work the hamstring on your left and work it on the right. And you'll find like uh, one side versus another, you'll find tightness and tenderness in different areas sometimes with uh, different hamstrings. So. Here, this is just a kind of a fun fact, but the reason why they call them hamstrings is just that. This is, these are the muscles they use to string up uh, a, a pig when they're being slaughtered. So they string them up by 
these muscles. That's why you call them hamstrings. Anyway, it's a little bit of fun trivia for you as far as why they call them hamstrings. See, right there for me is a really good one. And uh, if you find a really good spot, you don't have to go over it very, very quickly. You can, you can hang in here and go slow. You can even flex forward a little bit to get a little bit more of a stretch on that sucker. And again, what's really cool with the lacrosse ball, if, if you pretend that my hand is a muscle, if you pretend my hands are, are muscle here, you can see as I push down onto the lacrosse ball, you can kind of see my fingers bend over that, creating that stretch in and through there. And it gets a lot deeper stretch than if you're doing a static stretch like a hamstring hurdler stretch or something like that. Those are all great stretches, but what's really neat about the lacrosse ball, you can get a little deeper into those tissues and it helps to unglue those gliding surfaces um, between the skin, the fascia, and then the, and then the muscle that's encased in the fascia. And if those gliding surfaces, like I said before, if they're glued together, you're gonna get this weird pulling and stuff, and then you get cramps, you're gonna get inefficiency in your movements, whether it be running or squatting, uh, that type of thing. So, again, you're here, put that lacrosse ball right in there. See that right there? That's a good spot for me right there. Woo. And you can even bend forward a little bit. Really work in there. Again, you do this to your tolerance. Don't sit here in agony. You want to uh, create a uh, type of relaxing situation because essentially what you were trying to do is trying to get those um, tight, taut muscles to relax and start gliding better. Right in there. You see the ball? Ooh, right there. That's a good spot. And then, you know, I usually like to recommend folks after they do this type of work uh, in their hamstring or other muscle group as they're getting there. And I'm, wor again, working low and then working, so distal to proximal. So you work, you start here and you work your way up toward the heart. Now I'm getting up in here. That. Again, you search around, find a good tender spot, and then stay in that spot for a little while. Don't just glide over it. Nice and easy. You can even extend the, extend the lower leg, extend the tibia, and then lean forward a little bit to really get those hamstrings. So, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that the bell notifications button so that way you don't miss any subsequent videos. Uh, again, we appreciate you watching. We thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.